Assalamualaikum We are Jo Bersatu from J4AM1101I Our group members is Amirun Imran bin Ahmad Sofian Muhammad Nur Shakif bin Muhammad Faizan Yunus bin Ismail and Muhammad Hakim bin Muhammad Razali Today we want to present about Application of Integration What is integration? Integration is a function of which a given function is a derivative. Integration is basically used to find the areas of two-dimensional region and computing volumes of three-dimensional object. Therefore, finding the integral of function with respect to x means finding the area to the x axis from curve. The integration is also called as antiderivative as it is the reverse process of differentiation. Okay. Why we use integration? Integration is a way of adding slice to find the world. Integration can be used to find areas, volume, center point, and many useful things. But it is easiest to start with finding the areas between a function and x axis, like the diagram shows below. So now we will see about the types of integration. So type of integration uh, there are two types of integration which is definite and indefinite integrals so the integrals with specified boundaries namely upper and lower limits is known as definite integral another name for this definite integral is the Riemann integral which is it's written like this it's followed by an, an example of example of a question and the solution for the question given. So now for the second second types of integration is the indefinite integral, which is refer to the integral whose top and lower boundaries are unknown. F x the x equals to f x plus c is defined as the indefinite integral where c is the con c is the constant value for example 3x to the power of 5 dx for the solution you just integrate the 3x to the power of 5 plus 1 over 5 plus 1 which is the same as the power of x then we plus c and then we just continue the sol just continue to finish the solution and that's it. We got the answer. Uh, okay, for the next slide, find the area between two curves. Determining the area between y equals to fx and y equals to gx. Uh, so the first uh, is we, we want to find the area between a to b. So the definite integral uh, from a to b upper function dx minus definite integral from a to b lower function dx. We have to minus both of them, so we will get the answer for the the right one from A to B, but uh, it is on the y axis, so it is the same. Uh, the definite integral from A to B right function dy minus the definite integral A to B left function dy, so we will also get the answer. The example of question area between two curves. The question the shaded region in figure below is bounded by the curve y equals to x squared plus x plus 1 and y equals to negative x. Uh, for question A, find the coordinates of A and B. Coordinates of A, uh, the first step is we have to show the first equation which is y equals to negative x and the second is y equals to x squared plus x plus 1 
so we have to put both of the equation uh, besides beside each other uh, it will become negative x equals to x squared plus x plus 1 uh, next 0 equals to x squared plus 2x plus 1 so we have to uh, we have to factorize it and we will get x plus 1 in bracket uh, and in bracket also x plus 1 equals to 0 so x uh, we will get uh, equals to negative 1 from equation 1 we will insert the answer from the upper upper side x equals to negative 1 so it will be y equals to negative in bracket negative 1 so we will get y equals to 1 so the coordinate of a uh, equals to negative 1 1 uh, next coordinates of b at y axis x equals to 0 we know that x equals to 0 so we insert it into the second equation which is uh, y equals to x squared plus x plus 1 so y equals to 0 squared plus 0 plus 1 so we will get uh, the same answer which is 1 so coordinates of b equals to 0 1 uh, for question b find the area of the shaded region area of the shaded region is equals to uh, definite integral negative 1 uh, to 0 in bracket x squared plus x plus 1 dx minus negative uh, definite integral negative 1 to 0 in bracket negative x dx so after we integrate them we will get uh, in bracket x cube over 3 plus x squared over 2 plus x uh, from negative 1 to 0 plus x squared over 2 from negative 1 to 0 so when we uh, insert the numbers we will get 0 minus in bracket negative 5 over 6 plus 0 minus 1 over 2 equals to 5 over 6 minus 1 over 2 and the answer we will get 1 over 3 unit squared that is how we we want to solve this kind of question uh, next is our reference uh, we get our reference from this side and uh, yes, solution guide calculus 1 third edition 2021 so that's all from our group. Thank you.